Hello, my name is Akhil Tayal and I'm working at P64 Beamline Desi. Today I'm going to talk about unusual hydrogen storage property observed in two biometallic nanoparticle system. The one is silver rhodium and another one is a palladium, palladium platinum. So for the silver rhodium nanoparticle, what we found is that both silver and rhodium as an individual nanoparticle don't show any hydrogen storage properties. However, in the alloy form, they do show. Moreover, silver and rhodium are the bulk immiscible system, so the formation of alloy nanoparticle in itself is a puzzling. So to understand this question, these questions, we first perform balancement, we perform we measured balancement spectra on the alloy nanoparticle and found that uh, the balancement spectra does not represent the uh, composite mixture of silver and the rhodium nanoparticle. Moreover, if we compare the spectral feature of balance band spectra with the palladium nanoparticle, which is a well-known material for hydrogen storage, we found that they have the similar spectral feature. This motivated us to perform the actual hydrogen storage measurement. And what we found is that silver rhodium alloy show hydrogen storage property and it varies with the composition. So to understand this observation, we performed a synchrotron diffraction measurement and calculated the lattice parameter, which we found that its value is between the silver and the rhodium bulk. Moreover, the crystallized size obtained from the diffraction is somewhat smaller than the actual particle size we measured using the tank. If you compare the chains spectra at the rhodium and the silver KH, uh, on the alloy nanoparticle, what we found is that the separation between the feature A and B decreases for the spectra measure at the rhodium cage, which indicates that there is increase in the atomic pair distance surrounding rhodium, whereas inverse effect is observed for the spectra measured at silver cage. Now, if we compare the uh, raw KIK and the FT spectra measured at rhodium and silver cage. What we found is that in the alloy sample, the real component node position is similar to the rhodium bulk, uh, which uh, does not agree with the Jane's observation. Whereas for the spectra measure at the silver cage, we found that the node position shifted to a lower value. Uh, this observation agree with the Jane's measurement. The another observation is that the FT amplitude is uh, slightly more reduced for the spectra measure at the rhodium cage as compared to the uh, spectra measure at silver cage. So if we list out our observation at the Jens and the X of region, what we found is that uh, for the spectra measure at the silver cage, the Jens and the X of regions uh, both agree with that there is a smaller atomic uh, uh, atomic pair distance surrounding the uh, silver, whereas uh, the Jens and the exhaust uh, region don't agree for the spectrum measure at the rhodium cage. Also, the decrease in the FT or KIK intensity uh, indicate that there is either higher disorder or the smaller cluster size uh, surrounding silver and the rhodium. So, to decouple these two parameters, uh, we first performed the ratio analysis and what we found is that for the spectra measure at the rhodium case, the value of third cumulant is uh, thrice as compared to the spectra measure at the silver cage, which indicate that the surrounding of rhodium has a high degree of asymmetric disorder as compared to the silver surrounding. With this uh, preliminary analysis, we perform the fitting by including and excluding the third cumulant in the fit. And what we found is that if we include the third cumulant for the spectra measure at the rhodium cage, then the observed atomic distance agrees with the Jens measurement. Now, if we measured the hydrogen storage properties on this sample, what we found is that uh, under the absorption of hydrogen, the, re the node position does not show a change and, uh, uh, with the absorption of hydrogen, which indicates that the hydrogen does not get stored into the either rhodium or the silver lattice. Uh, 
The only observation we found is that there is a change in the FT amplitude uh, under the absorption of hydrogen, which indicate that the hydrogen is mainly get stored into the grain boundary region, which is result in the reduction in the grain boundary stresses and thus change the nanoparticle size. The similar observation was found for the spectra for, for some thin films where they found that the deuterium get mainly is, is absorbed into the interficial region. Now, if we move for the palladium platinum nanoparticle, the three main observation was found for this system. The first one is that the hydrogen storage property is uh, significantly higher uh, as compared to the palladium nanoparticle. Moreover, after the process of hydrogen absorption and disabsorption, the core shell structure get transformed to the so-called solid solution phase. And in the solid solution phase, the hydrogen storage properties is higher as compared to the core shell structure or the palladium nanoparticle. So to answer this question, we perform the process of hydrogen absorption and disabsorption on the core shell and the solid solution nanoparticle. And what we found that the separation between feature A and B reduces for the spectrometer at the palladium cage and the minimum uh, separation was observed for the uh, absorption of hydrogen at the room temperature and then it gradually recovers, uh, which indicate that the hydrogen get absorbed into the palladium lattice. And for the spectra measure at the platinum L3H, uh, although the platinum bulk don't show any hydrogen storage property, but we can see that uh, the chains feature shows the variation under the process of hydrogen absorption and disabsorption, which indicate that the platinum is not the passive component in the sample and contributing to the hydrogen storage property. If we compare the raw IK and the FT spectra, what we found is that for the spectrometer at the palladium cage, the node position shifted to higher value for the core shell spectra, which indicate that the the epitaxial the surface stress from the platinum shell changed the overall structure of the palladium core. And if you compare the platinum uh, FT spectra, what we found is that for both the core shell and the solid solution nanoparticle, the atomic distance is completely different as compared to the monometallic platinum. When we perform the wavelet transform analysis, uh, what we found that uh, the, there is a signature of uh, platinum and the palladium alloying for the spectra measure at platinum L3H, whereas the signature of alloying for the spectra measure at the palladium KH is weak. Then we perform the detailed analysis on under the process of hydrogen absorption and disabsorption. And what we found that for the palladium palladium shell, the atomic distance show a reversible trend and the maximum uh, increase in the atomic pair distance is observed for the room temperature absorption of hydrogen. And whereas the for the for the bimetallic environment, the change in the atomic pair distance shows the irreversible trend, which is expected because uh, to re remove the hydrogen from uh, surrounding the platinum requires more energy as compared to the palladium. Moreover, uh, when we compare the, this trend for the core shell and the solid solution nanoparticle, we found that the solid solution nanoparticle shows somehow the, somewhat higher hydrogen storage properties compared to the core shell nanoparticle. So to understand this, we have compared the variation in the uh, edge position for the, sol core sol for the solid solution and the core shell and the particle. And what we found is that for at the room temperature hydrogen absorption condition, the solid solution nanoparticle is highly in reduced condition as compared to the core shell nanoparticle, which is contributing to the higher hydrogen storage properties. And moreover, what we found is that uh, when the, after the process of hydrogen absorption and disabsorption, there is uh, the decrease in the coordination number of monometallic atomic pair at a cost of bimetallic atomic pair, which shows that there is more alloying after the process of hydrogen absorption and disabsorption. So to answer the question that why hydrogen storage is larger for the PDPT nanoparticle because apart from getting hydrogen stored into the palladium lattice, it get also stored into the interficial region, causing the higher hydrogen storage properties. 
Moreover, after the process of hydrogen absorption and desubsorption, this interfacial region get distributed homogeneously in the matrix of palladium. And due to the higher coverage area of these active sites for the hydrogen storage, we show we get the higher hydrogen storage property in the solid solution nanoparticle as compared to the core shell nanoparticle. So in conclusion, we found that for the silver rhodium system, there is a distinct atomic environment surrounding rhodium and silver, and the hydrogen get mainly stored into the interfacial region. Whereas for the PDP nanoparticle, we see that the interfacial region here also play an important role in enhancing the hydrogen storage properties. So with this, I would like to thank my collaboration at DESI, NIMS, Springate, and the Kuwait University. Thank you for listening.